So first of all, let's talk about bread making with wheat. So what happens with wheat when you put water into your wheat flour and you mix it, you have the proteins gliadin and glutenin, which bind together and make that famous gluten. And then enzymes in the bread help form what is called the gluten mesh network. And that kind of looks like this. It's like a mesh inside your bread. And then when your bread is fermenting, the gases that are released are trapped inside this network and they expand. And that's how you create the crumb in a wheat bread. So let's now contrast that bread making with wheat with bread making with rye. So when you add water to your rye flour and make your dough, two things potentially happen. And we're going to talk about this top half of the drawing first. So firstly, complex carbohydrates called pentasans make a thick starchy gel out of that rye flour and water. And it's this gel that traps fermenting and cooking gases to create the crumb in your rye bread. So unlike with wheat, where it's the gluten mesh network that you have to work at by kneading that traps the gases, here it's the thick starchy gel that naturally happens when you mix rye and water together that holds those gases in suspension in your crumb. 